polydrome reorder from the from the CSES problem set. So given a string, your task is to reorder its letters in such a way that it becomes a polydrome. In equivalence, it reads the same forwards and backwards. Okay, and the input is the only input line has a string of length n consisting of characters uh, from capital A until capital Z. And the output is to print a polydrome consisting of the characters of the original string. You may print any valid solution. If there are no solutions, print no solution. And the constraints here are that n is uh, smaller or equal to 1 million, okay? So 10 to the power of 6. And we have this example here. And the, in the output here, we can see that uh, the output is a polydrome, essentially. Um, so um, how can we construct a solution here? So this is a constructive problem. Um, and we have to figure out uh, how can we construct a solution and a report if there is no solution as well. Okay, so there is there are cases where that we have no solution. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to look at the, the structure of a polydrome. Okay, so I'm just going to use paint for this. So a polydrome has a left part, okay, and a right part, and it may or may not have a character in the middle. Okay, so uh, let, let's take an example. Okay, so let's take the left part equals to a. B, C. Then the right part should uh, necessarily be equal to C, B, A. Okay? So that uh, we keep uh, reading the same uh, forwards as we read backwards. Okay? And in the middle, we might have another letter. Okay? So let's say we have a Z here. Okay? So this is a polydrome. Uh, so uh, essentially, uh, the amount of characters we have here will be appearing uh, on the right on the right part will also appear uh, in the left part so uh, how many years do we have uh, it's two times the appearances it has in the first uh, in, the, in the in the left side okay so two times a uh, how many b's do we have again we have two b's okay how many c's do we have two c's okay so the point here is that uh, uh, how many, how many, uh, depending on how many uh, uh, times a character appears on the left side, uh, we will, we're going to have the same amount of number of, of, of appearances on the right side, okay? Because these will just be the same, just in reverse, okay? So um, let's say for the occurrences of A, so let's say we have three times uh, on the left part, uh, three times on the right part, so three A's on the right part as well. And that will give us uh, two times the occurrences of A, okay, uh, on the left part. So occurrences, let me just rewrite this, occurrences left, okay. So two times the occurrences of, uh, of the left uh, uh, side for A, okay. This will give us the total occurrences, okay, of A, uh, unless there is an A in the middle, okay. In that case, it will give us occurrences minus one, essentially, okay? Um, so the point here is that we cannot afford to have uh, uh, letters with populations that are not odd, okay? Uh, apart from one, okay? So um, if we count the occurrences for all of the uh, letters again, uh, is what I'm trying to say, uh, we cannot have two letters. So let's say we have uh, three A's and three B's. So this, uh, so the, the, let's say we have this three here, which, which we need to uh, make into a polydrome. Uh, this is impossible because uh, A has three occurrences, B has three occurrences, and uh, both uh, and these and three is an odd number, okay? So we cannot have uh, a letter appearing uh, an odd amount of times. Uh, so, so we can have only one, essentially. We can have only one letter appearing an odd amount of times. If we have two or more letters appearing another amount of times, uh, this single spot we have here, which uh, makes the appearances of, of that specific letter to be odd, um, can only be occupied by one letter, okay, essentially. So the goal here is uh, for us to check that all the letters have an even amount of appearances. Uh, one of them can, be, can have an odd number of appearances, just one, uh, and if that is uh, and, and if uh, that is the case, that letter should be 
uh, put in the middle, okay? Um, and then we can, uh, a way to construct the pallet draw is to just print all of the, half of the A's on the right side, half of the A's on the, on the left side, half of the A's on the right side, then half of the B's on the uh, uh, left side, half of the B's on the right side, and so forth for, all, for every letter of the alphabet, essentially. And that will give us the solution, okay? So let's go, lo let's go ahead and look at the implementation. All right, so uh, what I did here is to just read in uh, my string, so the given string, uh, which I call x. Um, and then I, I have this loop here that goes from 0, which is the first index, up until the last index of my string. And with this line here, I'm just increasing the amount of occurrences of the specific letter uh, in index i, okay? So this uh, OCC array that I declare here in the global scope uh, will have 26 positions and the value for every position will be equal to zero because we declared this in the global scope and by default it is set to zero, okay? Uh, what I'm doing here to get the letter is I use the, the characters, so the character in index i and the lowest possible character, which is capital A in this uh, occasion, I remove, I, I subtract the value of capital A from my character here. So if this uh, character is capital A, uh, this will give us index zero. If this uh, character is uh, capital B, this will give us uh, index one and uh, so forth. And I increase the amount of occurrences, okay? So having this array now, I will construct my solution. So first of all, what I need to check is how many letters uh, appear another amount of time, okay? Another amount of, of times, yes. So initially this is zero, so I don't know any letter which appears another amount of times. And this variable here, uh, OD, is just to have the index essentially of the letter, if that exists, um, that has an odd amount of occurrences, okay? I said this to minus, to minus one uh, initially because I don't know if the, if the letter exists, okay? Um, and then I have the, the loop which goes uh, from zero up to 25. So for all of the letters essentially. And I check if that letter had uh, an odd amount of occurrences. So if it had an odd amount of occurrences, um, the amount of occurrences modulo uh, two here will give us, will return one. So if it, if it is an odd number. Uh, and because it will return one, uh, this statement will evaluate to true. Otherwise, it will return a zero and it will uh, evaluate false and we will not get into this if statement here. So if we get into the if statement, I'm gonna increase the amount of uh, letters that have uh, an, odd, an odd number of appearances. And I will set the index of the for the odd letter to be equal to i. So uh, uh, for the respective letter, I will know the index of that letter, okay? And then uh, after, after I have completed this uh, loop here, I'm just gonna check if I have more than one letters appearing another amount of uh, numbers, okay? So as we explained before, uh, with this example here, if I have three A's and three B's, okay? So two letters appearing uh, another amount of, uh, an odd, uh, uh, amount of times, we're not going to be able to construct the solution because let's say we put uh, the three B's uh, in the center of our string, and then we're gonna put one of these to the left uh, the other a to the right, uh, we will end up having no position uh, for the third a to go. Okay, so if we put this here, uh, it will not be a polydrome uh, and so forth. You can try for every position uh, possible and you will see that um, this will uh, cause for our string to not be a polydrome anymore, okay? So after executing this if statement and making sure that everything, uh, so that, that uh, we, we have one or less uh, letters appearing uh, another amount of times, okay, we're going to continue with, with constructing our solution. Uh, by the way, if it is, uh, if we have more than one times, I'm just going to output no solution here and just return, okay? So let's see how I construct the solution in the case that there is a solution. So I go from the first letter uh, until the last letter, okay, so from uh, index 0 up to 25, and I check if that letter appears an odd amount of times, uh, if, if, if it is not, so it is an even amount of times, I take half of them. So in this variable, uh, in this iterative variable half, I take half of the occurrences. 
uh, I remove them from the array, which counts the occurrences, and I print them, uh, I, I print that letter uh, half amount of times, okay? Um, so I construct the left part of my string essentially, okay? Now I'm just gonna construct the middle part. So in the middle part, I'm gonna output the letter, if that exists, which appears another amount of times, so that uh, for sure um, the one time, uh, which will, the one letter which uh, will be in the center of my palindrome, it will be th this letter, okay? Um, so I check if the, if the index of, for such a letter exists, because as, as you remember from, from here, I save the index uh, for that specific letter. So if it is not minus one, which was the initial value that I said it to be, uh, that means that it exists. So I go ahead and I use that index uh, to output the letter which appears another amount of times. And then here, I just print the right part, okay? Uh, by the way, this will cause this to be, to reach uh, minus one essentially, okay, after this loop is done. So uh, this letter will disappear from the occurrences uh, table. The, so we're not gonna print any more uh, occurrences for this, uh, for this letter essentially, okay? And now that I have print the left part, okay, and the middle part, uh, what is left to do is to print the right part. So for this one, we go in reverse. So because we went from A uh, to Z, now we're gonna go from Z to A. So we begin from 25 uh, until we reach zero, okay? And we go minus one every time, uh, since we are going in the opposite, direct, in the opposite uh, direction uh, of the alphabet, essentially. And for every character, uh, for, every, for every letter, if uh, the number of occurrences left for that uh, uh, letter is greater than zero, we are going to uh, print one by one these occurrences uh, to form the right part of our string, essentially, okay? And then we print an end line, uh, for, and, and the answer is pretty much done here, okay? So we have solved, we have pretty much solved the problem uh, at this point here. So um, if this, if you found this problem, if you find this tutorial helpful and it uh, helps you uh, understand how you can solve this problem, uh, please leave a like to the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.